Daria, the Tiverian Swallow Rider. In the verdant realm of the Tiverian kingdom, where the trees stood tall and secrets were woven into the very air, there lived a tiny but formidable guardian, Daria, the Tiverian Swallow Rider. Her size was no measure of her spirit, for she was as brave as the mightiest of lions, and her mount, a swift swallow named Swiftwing, bore her across the skies with the grace of the wind itself. Each morning, as the first light of dawn pierced the canopy, Daria would ascend to her wooden platform, perched high amongst the leaves. With a whistle and a leap, she would mount Swiftwing, and together they would glide over the forest, the guardians of the Green Kingdom. Her duty was sacred, for she was the eyes of the Tiverian Queen. Her mission? To scout the forest's depths for signs of trouble or whispers of wonder that might aid her people. Despite her diminutive stature, her presence was a beacon of hope and comfort to the creatures below, who knew her by the blue streak of the Swiftwing's feathers. One crisp morning, as mist clung to the trunks of the ancient trees, Daria's keen eyes spotted a rustle in the underbrush. Descending closer, she discovered a fawn, its spots barely visible among the ferns, its eyes wide with fear. It was alone, separated from its mother, and Daria's heart swelled with compassion. She could not, would not, leave it to face the forest alone. Using the silent language of the wild, Daria spoke to the fawn, her voice as gentle as the breeze. Fear not, little one, for I will guide you back to your mother, she promised. And with a nod, the fawn accepted her offer, its trust in the tiny warrior complete. Their journey was not without peril. A river, swollen by recent rains, barred their path, its waters rushing with a ferocity that made the fawn tremble. Yet Daria did not falter. With Swiftwing's aid, she found a safe crossing, encouraging the fawn with tales of the bravery that lived within its heart. The undergrowth, too, sought to ensnare them, but Daria's resolve was a light that no shadow could dim. She led the fawn through the thickest thickets, her eyes always forward, her spirit unyielding. At last, as the sun hung low and the shadows grew long, Daria and the fawn emerged into a clearing. There, beneath the boughs of an ancient oak, the fawn's mother waited, her eyes filled with gratitude, their reunion was a symphony of nature's purest joy, and Daria's heart soared with the knowledge that she had done well. Word of her deed spread through the forest, carried by the birds and the whispering winds, until every creature knew of the tiny rider who was as valiant as the heroes of old. Upon her return, the queen of Tiverian herself awaited, her eyes gleaming with pride. Before the assembled court, she commended Daria for her unmatched bravery and her boundless kindness. The court rung with cheers, for Daria had proven that the true measure of a warrior was not in statue, but in the strength of one's heart. As night descended upon the kingdom, Daria and Swiftwing took to the skies once more, the silhouettes etched against the canvas of the twilight sky. They were more than a rider and her mount. They were a symbol of the harmony that could exist between all living things. Daria's legend lived on, 
whispered by parents to children, a tale to inspire courage and to remind the young of the Tiberian kingdom that every creature, no matter how small, can make a difference. And so, beneath the stars that glittered like jewels in the heavens, Daria, the Tiberian swallow rider, found her place in the eternal tale of the forest. The End